everyone welcome back to my craft room if you're new to my craft room then welcome today I'm going to be making a cute little gift box for a little girl um, you can get these boxes at Michael's and they were $4.49 and I had the 40% off coupon so it only cost me two dollars and sixty nine cents for this cute little box and this is the photo frame box it holds a three and a quarter or five inch picture in the center there and yeah and these are just so pretty I was actually surprised at how inexpensive these were I used to do a lot of projects with um, little things from you know AC Moore and Michaels made out of wood years ago when I used to do craft shows and stuff and I haven't done it in a long time and I'm really getting back into doing some more things with you know little wood things they're just so cute so we're gonna make this into a little um, unicorn box and I'm gonna be using this little box here and a piece of felt. These are four for a dollar at, I think I got this one at Walmart or Michaels, I'm not sure, but they're only like 25 cents a piece for a piece of felt. So I'm going to line it with pink felt and then I'm actually going to use some of these um, papers here from this paper pad that I got at Michaels that I thought was so cute. This is a beautiful paper pad. It has all kinds of cute unicorn things in it. So I found this page that I'm going to use to go around this part of my box. Um, but you can do anything with these boxes you want. You can stain them, you can paint them, you can stencil them, you can do everything. But I've never done this before, so we're going to give this a try. So I'm going to put this around the edges of my box to make it look cute. And then I took a piece of this picture, of this page right here, and I actually took this piece out earlier and traced around it and this is the picture that I'm going to use in the top of this. Now you could just put a family photo in there for someone or just a picture of somewhere you've been, whatever, and this will be a beautiful box and this is a wonderful gift and I think when it's all said and done it's going to be under five dollars for the whole thing. So let me put these aside out of my way. Oh there's my little girls I stamped out earlier. Um, let me get this out of my way. Oh, and I'm also going to use some of these gems, I think, to put around, just around the edge of this when I'm finished with it, just to make it sparkle a little bit. <clears throat> Excuse me. And let's see, what else do we need? You're going to need some glue. I'm going to be using the uh, Aileen's Clear Gel Tacky Glue. I love this stuff. It's great to work with. Or you can use this. They have the Tacky Glue from the Dollar Tree. It's white, but it pretty much dries clear anyway. And you're not going to see it. It'll be underneath your felt. I'm going to use that to hold the pictures on and the felt. And then I have uh, this pink color of the Craft Smart paint. It's the light pink and just a white. And I'm hoping these are still good. For some reason, these do not last as long as all my other paints have. They separate and they just get nasty, but I'm hoping they're going to be good. So what you want to do first is kind of look at it, and you may need to just take a little piece of sandpaper or something and smooth off some of the... Um, corners and things and I already did that and then the easiest way to work on these is to just take a little screwdriver and take some of this hardware off and you want to be really gentle because this is a really soft wood and I think when I put this back on I'm actually going to dip the ends of these into a little bit of wood glue before I put them back in but these are really easy to take apart there's nothing to it and they weren't over tightened or anything so there's our little front piece and then I'm going to leave this one on because I'm just going to paint around that one but I am going to take this off just to make it <clears throat> excuse me I don't know what's going on here it's got to be the allergies in the air and it's so hot out today so I figured this would be a good little project to do in the house <clears throat> so I'm just going to put these little screws aside here just to make it a little easier to work on. I mean, you don't have to take it apart if you don't want to. If you want to paint around it or whatever, or cut the paper around it. I just thought this would be easier to do since I'm gluing the paper down on it, that I can put these back on over top of it. But like I said, it's real simple to take apart. There we go. My little screws aside here. Hope I don't knock them down and lose them somewhere. All right, so then here you have your cute little box to work with, and there's nothing on it in your way. And then for this part, I'm going to take 
this stuff out of here. Now, I don't know if this is glass yet or if it's like a plexiglass. We're going to find out. Now, this is actually real glass. So you're going to have to be careful with that. I'm just going to set them aside. And this piece I'm actually going to paint also. I think I'm going to paint that white on the inside. I think I'll do all the inside white and then it'll be lined with the pink. So I think that'll be cute. So that's all you got to do is just to get them apart and make your life a little bit easier. All right, so what I'm going to paint here is let me get some of these. I love these little party trays that you get at the Dollar Tree. I use these a lot. It's something in it when I'm painting. So I'm just going to put some white paint in here. So I'm going to do this part here in white. I'm going to do these edges in white. And then I'm going to do the inside in white. And then I'm going to, I think, this piece here I'm going to do in pink. And the inside here will be done in pink. I may change my mind as we go along, but that's my intention. So I'm going to give me a little brush here. This one's good. These are just cheapo brushes. Like I think I got these at Walmart. They weren't expensive. But whatever brush you have. And I'm not going to make you watch me paint this whole thing because I think you guys get the concept of painting. Whoa. Almost dropped it though. Alright. So like I said, I'm just going to go around. Why do I have stuff all over this desk here? Just around the edges here, I'm going to do this. I'm sure it's going to take a couple of coats. And if you get a little bit up on here, it doesn't matter because we're going to glue the paper right over top of that. So you don't even have to be, I just want to fill that crease in. You don't have to be super, super careful. And I may throw a little paint on the bottom here as well, just to make it look nice and finished. I think if it was something I was just going to set up on a shelf, I wouldn't bother. But since it's going to be a little gift, I guess I'll go ahead and finish it up real nice. So yeah, I think just going over this twice will be perfect. So let me go ahead and I'll finish painting around there and um, I'll just throw the paint on the inside of this and then we'll come back and figure out how we're going to get all this paper on here perfect. Okay, so I have everything painted white that I want white. I did go over the part that I'm going to paint pink. And I did cover it with white because I think the pink is just going to show up a little bit better than on the wood. And I just put on two coats. It covered really well. Um, I did the same one here. I didn't go in here because, well, you're never going to see it for one. And I was afraid it wouldn't fit back in there quite right if you get too much paint in there. So you kind of got to be careful. And also with these things. I mean, you could take these off if you want to. But there is a little paint on it. You're not going to see it once I put the white underneath those either. And then I just painted around these. And of course I got paint on them, but it comes right off. You can just scrape that off with your fingernail off of the metal. So I did put a little bit of the pink on here. I just wanted to see if this was going to be the color I wanted, and I really like it. It's going to match everything really nice. And um, also what I decided to do while I was painting here, which was a while ago for me. It was like 20 seconds ago for you. <laughs> but anyway, it's very flat matte paint. So I decided to take a little bit of the gloss um, Mod Podge, and I got this at the Dollar Tree too, and I put a little bit of that just around, you know, what, whatever. So I'm not going to put it in here because I'm afraid it's going to make it too sticky. It might stick shut. But just on the outside here, I'm going to put it around on here, and then this is all going to be covered with my paper, and then I'm going to do the same thing here after I get my pink on. I'm going to put a coat of the um, gloss Mod Podge on here, and I think that'll just make it look much prettier than just this flat paint. So now all I have to do is go around, I'll show you where I'm going to paint my edges here. Um, and I'm having a hard time getting things to dry. It's like, last time I checked it was 99.8 degrees outside and it's very humid and even with the air on in here you can still feel the humidity. So this is a little bit sticky, but not too bad. So I'm just going to take some of this. I already shook this up pretty good because I used a little bit of the light pink. And then I have this little bitty brush. You know, you just need a brush, whatever, a smaller size to fit in here, whatever size works best for you. Um, this is a a Royal and Langnickel. 
I believe that's what that's called, paintbrush. I think I got this at Michael's years and years ago. It's a really good brush. It's kind of more of like a stiff brush. So I'm just going to go in here and just paint in between these lines. Now if you want, you could go ahead and put some painter's tape on here or something. But there's a really good line here um, for these two sections. It'll keep, kind of keep you in line. But you know, if you want to be on the safe side, you could go ahead and tape it off. So I'm going to go ahead all the way around this outside little ridge here. And then I'm also going to make it pink inside here. Um, do I even have this in here? Yeah, I'm going to have to bring this up a little bit closer to my face to finish this, but I just wanted to show you guys where I'm putting the paint. And just inside this ridge is going to be pink. And I was going to leave that little tiny ridge white, but you know what? That's going to be such a pain in the neck trying not to touch it with the paint. And I'm not all that neat. So then I'm going to go all the way around on the inside of these. And of course I'm going to have to give two coats. And hopefully I don't mess up too bad. So I don't have to do too many touch-ups. But it's working out pretty good. It's a nice little ridge there. It'll kind of keep you in line. So that'll be pink. This outside one will be pink. And then of course when it's done, we're going to put some of the little gemstones around the outside here just to give it a little pop of sparkle. And yeah, so let me go ahead and bring this up here to my face so I can really see what I'm doing. And I'm just going to go around those two edges and then we'll come back. Okay, I finished painting all the way around here. I meant to turn my camera back on and I just got busy and I started putting on my Mod Podge without you. But you didn't miss much. So, anyway, that's how the pink came out. I think that's going to look real cute on the top. So then I just took, I always use my Mod Podge with a little brush. I'm not good with those sponge things. I just feel I have more control with a little brush. And I'm just putting a light coat on here just to give it a little shine. And that's it. Nothing special. That's my favorite part because I don't have to be careful anymore. Well, somewhat, but you know what I mean. And you just want to make sure you don't have any thick stuff on the underside. And you don't want to do the underside either because I think it's just going to make it stick together, the lid. Alright, so let me set this back here to dry a little more. So now we can start putting on the inside. Now, I measured this. Now, I, don't, I can't guarantee that they're all going to be the same size, so I really hate to even give out too much of the um, measurements, but I cut out two pieces of um, the felt. Um, these were an inch and three quarters on the bottom of the top, and then I cut my little, I just measured it in there and just snipped out that piece where the hinge goes. So that'll be there, and I let them overlap just a tiny bit in the corner. That way when you put your center piece through it, it kind of all looks nice and finished. And then I cut out another piece for the this front side here, and yeah, like I said, they're none of them are exactly exactly the same. So you know, just kind of measure it out, put them in there. And actually, what how, how this one worked out was I just cut the felt lengthwise in a strip and cut it in half, and it, this is what I ended up with. So if you just make a what did I say one and three quarter inch strip lengthwise on your you know, felt this way. And now this one is going to be for the center part, and that one measured four inches wide. And then we're just going to, I'll show you how we're going to put that one in. But let me get these guys in here first. So I'm just going to take some of my tacky glue. And I'm just going to squeeze. Well, whenever it wants to get down. There we go. I'm just going to squeeze a, quite a lot of it in here. I mean, I probably overdo, but... And I just like to swirl it around with my brush real quick. Make sure I get it in the corner a little bit, because you're going to have that little bit of overlap there. Or you want to, at least. You don't have to. And then I'm just going to... Where did my felt go? Here we go. Try to match up... Oh, I don't want that glue there. All right. I want to match up where I cut it here. Just 
Just so you make sure your hinges get back in there where they're supposed to be. And there. And this is easy peasy. A little more time consuming, just getting it all cut out and everything, but you know, it's not hard to do. I don't want this sticking up over the top. So our lid fits nice. Alright, so I'm just going to put some more glue down here. Maybe not as much as I did on the top to make a mess. of your box all aligned nice. Okay, now for this part you're going to put it all, you're not going to cut this until you get it all the way across, but I like to just start, I don't want to glue the whole thing because sometimes you just make a giant mess if you do it that way. So we're just going to start at one side. Take this whole length here. I don't know if I can do it this way either. All right, let's turn it this way so you guys can see. And just tuck this down in here. Actually, it's just easy just to line your top up. Easy for me to say, huh? There we go. Once you get that nice and even, you're pretty much good to go. I'm just going to tuck that down. And once you know you got that in the right spot, then you can go ahead and glue the rest of the bottom on real good. Come on. And I just like to take the brush, smooth it out, that way I don't have any lumps and bumps. And before I glue the other side in, I'm going to... Um, Trim that off. It's easier to do before you glue it. And see, when you do this in one piece, it gives it a really nice finished look that way. Yay! Okay, so I'll push that down there, kind of crease this hopefully where I want to cut it. Or you could glue it in, it might be actually easier to glue it. Well, I want to make sure I get it nice and even. So let's see, where's my... I always have to keep hiding these scissors because these are my only good scissors that I have anymore for fabric. so many scissors so I just got to keep in mind that my plain purple scissors are for fabric and felt and stuff. Oh, I lost my brush. Here we go. All right. Oh, that worked out really well. Okay, well there we go. So there's our inside. And I think that looks really cute. Okay, so now we can start putting this thing back together, actually. We're pretty much done. Um, I think I'm going to put the picture in here first. Make sure this isn't too sticky. Alright. So this is a cute little picture I cut out. And I'm going to put that right down in here. Make sure I have it going the right way. No, I'm not. I'm fibbing. And you guys are probably yelling at me through the camera, put the glass back in. Alright, so we're going to put the glass back in. Foist. Yeah, this was tricky the first time I did this, and I took it out to cut it. I only wanted to go back in 
one certain way. There we go. And I just want to take this paper towel here and make sure I didn't do you see some paint I splashed. All right. So, yes. Put my little picture in here now. Oh, this doesn't want to fit right either. All right, I am going to have to trim this just a tiny, tiny bit. It just doesn't fit. All right. I guess we can trim just a little bit off the top here. Let me get my cutters. All right. Let's hope that did the trick. See, that's going to look so pretty as the top. All right. Now we need to do is put our little wood piece back on here. Hopefully. I know everything only fit in one exact way when I took this apart and put it back the first time. So let's try to get these on here. Nope. Could be the paint. Yeah, it could be the humidity since I took this out of here and got it wet and now it's too big to go back in here. Please don't tell me I have to flip it over. Oh, there it goes. I knew it was a very tight fit. I'm going to put this down here close to me so I can see what I'm doing here. Okay, now that we got that back on, that is what it's going to look like from the top. Isn't that so cute? So now I'm going to put on my little gems. Oh, I love this. It's so sweet. I'll tell you, some of those um, paper pads that they have are just so nice. All right, I think I just want this closest inside. Yeah. I'm just going to put that right on that edge. I was going to put it down in here, but I thought, no, it kind of looks very plain on the top now, so I'm going to put it right along the edge there. Or however you want to do it. This is just my suggestion here. I love working with these gemstones because they just pull them apart and easy peasy. Yeah, let's go with some long strips here till we're done. All right, well, I'm going to stop here and I'll just finish putting these little gems around and then we'll come back and put it back together. Okay, we have all the little gems on there. I think that is super, super sweet. The sun is blaring in this room right now, so it's very bright. Um, but yeah, I love this. It's so cute. So, I almost forgot the main one of the main steps here. I'm ready to put this thing back together already, and we haven't even put on our paper around the bottom of the box. Dropping things. All right. So, same thing. I just took two strips of the paper, and I just measured and cut them. I don't know exactly how, like I said... You kind of just got to measure your box to see because, you know, there's no guarantee that they're all going to be cut exactly the same. But anyway, I cut two strips of these. I think that's going to be just perfect. And I picked out this one for the front just because I like the way the horses are on there. So now we're going to put some more glue on here and glue on this paper. 
This is the fun part. I love doing this part. You're not being real super, super careful. And it's just fun seeing it come together. Alright. And then again, I'm going to line it up on the top here. And I'm hoping I'm going to be able to find the holes when I'm ready. Oops, I kind of had this one folded already. Alright. You just don't want it coming up over the top or it won't close nice. That's all you got to make sure that you don't do. Alright. And I did put a good fold in these corners just to make sure that they're going to lay down nice. Alright, so we're just going to glue those down. Yeah. And I did this so these would kind of be more towards the back where they're going to meet. And I just want to try to get the gaps out of there. I know, I say cute like a billion times a day, but it is, it's just so cute. Alright, I am going to go ahead and do the other side exactly the same way. Just moving my sides up here, trim them off, and I'm just going to glue the other piece of paper on the back. Okay, I have all the paper on all the way around. I went ahead and I put these back on. You're also going to have to make like a little cut back here just to fit around your hinges. Um, but, you know, I couldn't wait here so I just kept going and, you know, didn't even think, hey, I should probably turn my camera back on. But anyway, that's how it looks with all the paper on it. I think this is so cute. Now when I put the front back on, since the holes were covered up, I just took this little thing before I connected it, I hooked it in the hole, and then I pushed it down like that and just held it there, and I found the holes really easy, and just put the little screws back in. And you don't want to tighten it too much, because this is like that um, basswood or balsa wood. It's really soft, so you don't want to really screw it in too tight, just so it's nice and snug. So this is what it looks like when it's all put back together. Isn't this just so sweet? I am very happy with this. Um, I wasn't quite sure, you know, like I said, it's the first time I did it with the paper. I've made, you know, other things before, but I usually stain them or just paint them, but I thought, what a neat idea to put a little print on here. And then I, inside, and you have your real pretty little pink felt in there that's lined, and then you could fill this up with some little goodies and give it as a gift to someone, fill it up with some candies or something. And yeah, so the lighting in here is really weird now because we just got done having some really nasty thunderstorms. So it's very dark now. It went from being super sunny to really dark. But that was my cute little project for today. And there's that word cute again. I can't help myself, but it's cute. So thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope you all enjoyed this little project. I will see you all next time. Have a great day.